Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today we're reviewing the Olight or O Knife. Most of them don't say O Knife on them. The Exploit. This is a kind of like a bag, a storage bag for knives and challenge coins and uh, flashlights and whatever else you want to fit in this thing. Um, you have a strap that you can hang it off the wall. There's actually two D rings, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, it's got some weird. It has some weird things to it. Um, on the website, it's listed as having 20 compartments, but it has actually a lot more than that. So, first things first, you'll notice there's a ring here and here. Probably so you can tack it up against the wall if you need to help hold it onto something. Now, let me show you what we've got here. On the back, there's these two little elastic loops, which are kind of strange, but I suppose it holds it closed. And then there's these Velcro straps, and they go through the rings at the top. Originally, they went through the rectangular part, and they get stuck in there, so I put it on the round side. I'm going to take this off, just because it's in the way. I'm trying to unfold this thing. So it comes with that. It comes with this strap here. And these are Velcro straps. Pull them off. And then I'm going to pull them through here. Now, when they're in this section, like they originally came with, they were really, really difficult to remove because they get stuck. They're just... Like, it'll make it. See? But it's a pain in the butt. So, if you need to strap it up, put it through the D side of it, not the rectangular side. I'm going to peel this up. I'm going to open this up. Now... Let me move the strap out of the way. I may or may not have enough room on my desk to unfold this entire thing. Now, right now it's empty, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it shortly. Because I have a lot of knives, and a lot of flashlights, and a lot of tools. So, first part, you got it where it says O light on top and O knife. And you have like a, a velour or a velvet kind of material on the back to protect your gear. In each of these, you got one, two, three, four, five here. And you have five small clear ones for like challenge coins or small items. Right? So that's not bad. So you got five there. Open this up again. Two, three, four, five. So you got five more. And open it up again. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are smaller. And of course, more of the clear pieces here. And then you have the, well, weird bottom section. So it comes with a patch. It comes with a Velcro patch, so I know a lot of you guys like to collect patches. It comes with one. Um, this is the only patch I have, so that's pretty much all that's going to be there. And then we have this piece here. So you got a zipper. And one, two, three, four, five more spaces. And you'll notice this one's larger than the other four. And you see this Velcro at the end. Well, there's actually this whole piece comes off. So you have a really big section in the bottom if you want to put more Velcro straps on. Some people might, so you could do that, but why is this removable? Well, let me show you why. Close this back up for a moment. I'm going to flip it around and, hey look, there's more pockets. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got, what, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, seven, three, eight, nine, forty, forty-one pockets on this thing. 41 pockets to put things. That's not bad. Actually, I think it might be 42. Uh, 42, because I forgot this This one has 6 instead of 5. All right? So, but... I've got Velcro up there, too, which is... Why would it be Velcro up there? All right, well, what you can do with this is you can fold this up. And now you have a small portable like a sleeve, 
a small one, a small case if you want to put this in your bag, or in your backpack, a go bag, whatever, of some of your special tools or items. So that's kind of cool. Or if you really want to get fancy, depending on the size of your leg or arm, they don't actually show you this, but I was playing with it and you could do it. Say if I'm working on something specific, I can wrap this around my arm and have tools at the ready. And of course, I think you can reverse it. Let me see. Yeah, you can reverse it. So if you've got a small enough leg, you can put this under your pants and hide some gear in here if you need to. Obviously, it's not enough to put like ammo or anything in it, but you can keep a a knife, um, maybe some wrenches, fire starter, or something of that nature. This is probably, I don't know if I have a cup around. All right, well, it's got other stuff in it, but. So if you really had to, you're throwing it inside your, your bag, you could put like a cup or something on the inside, keep it a little insulated. And there's other stuff inside this cup, so it's not water. Um, so, you could do something like that. This is the GSI Ultralight cup. Um, but yeah, so you have a lot of options with this. And it's weird because on the website, they only tell you it's got 20 pockets, not 42. Um, downside is, you can't leave that like that. It doesn't stick. It would have been nice if they had Velcro on both sides, but they do not. They only have it on the one side. By the way, you have these these little uh, cordage pieces, which are the locks on the back. If you're hanging this off a wall, you may be able to use this to help hold it in place, because once you get a lot of weight in here, uh, it starts to fold in on itself. So, granted... This is supposed. To, this is set up for knives and coins and such. But let's see what else you could put in here. Oh, look at that! I got a lighter. Put a lighter there. And maybe two of them next to each other would be fine. It would definitely fit in the big one, but it would probably get lost. So you have that. What about a pen? So depending on what you're carrying, you could put a pen in here. Uh, it would fit there, but not great. So, depends on what you're doing. What about, let's see, Gerber knife. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Will it fit in the front? Yeah, it'll fit in the front. Probably be best if I turned it around that way so the clip would hold it. Um, but that works. Or put it in the big one. That fits really well. So, let's take a look here, shall we? Uh, and that could go there. That will definitely go there. This one does not have a clip on it, but it will fit there just fine. What about a multi-tool? This is the uh, Rock Tool 12 version 1. Yeah, it could probably fit there. Fits fine in the center, though. What about something larger? Like this uh, CJRB Tigress. Right. Where could that fit? Well, could it fit in there? It could. It'd be probably hard to close. It will definitely fit on the inside, though. Yeah, see, that fits really well in there. And then, of course, if you had to bring this with you, you fold it up. Wrap these around so everything stays closed, and then you have a whole tool bag of knives and whatever else you have in here. Um, if you're doing a lot of precision tools, like if you're a watchmaker, or well, actually, this would you could do a lot with this. Not just here, with like coins and such. Um, could be a sewing. Could could be a modular, somewhat modular um, medical kit. Uh, say, knuckle bandages, finger bandages, regular bandages, um, 
far as like elbow bandages, maybe some duct tape, um, blood clotting agent, um, stitches, you know, like the, the cat cut stitches or the nylons, um, maybe a scissor, all sorts of things. Um, another thing you do, I'm going to be showing this shortly in the other video, knife sharpener. Will it fit in the front? It doesn't quite fit there because there's another it's getting stuck actually on the plastic. Let me pick one that's already doesn't have anything else. Yeah, you can put that in there. It'll probably get lost in the deeper ones. Yeah, you can't even see that it's in there. You could do that. It would probably do much better in one of these spots. It'd be difficult to move because it's rubber sheath. You can already see it just, you know, it, it sticks to it. So, but that's an option. Um, what about uh, Gerber Armbar cork? I mean, this doesn't have a uh, clip on it, so I could go there. It can go back there, but it would disappear, so you'd have to be careful. Regular armbar, regular Gerber armbar. Same thing, or what happens if you put both together? The pocket fit both, the pocket will fit both. You just have to figure out in which orientation you want to leave them in there, but it'll fit. So that's kind of cool. You can put all sorts of things in here. It doesn't have to just be one item. What about uh, what about something like this? I get these from Countycom. I haven't found the actual link to them, um, but these are. Just it's a straight razor blade um, on a little pivot and a sleeve. This would fit fine in the front here. Or, of course, get a couple of those in there. I actually have a couple of them floating around. Um, what else? I don't know about the screw pop. Screw pop will fit just fine in the front. We get lost in here, but it would definitely fit well in the front or in the section up front here. What else can fit? Well, what about larger knives? We already found that one, which fits in there. Uh, another CJRB, this is the Felspar. That fits fine. All right. What if I don't want to put a, a knife in here? What about like this? Uh, this is the County Com, the, the uh, Maritech AAA by 2. I'll take some of these out so that this way it'll be in the front of the camera so I don't have to keep moving this thing back and forth. It doesn't fit in the, in the little pocket, it's too long. But it fits just fine in the big pocket. So you can put a whole bunch of inspection lights in there without any trouble. What else? Oh, another knife. Uh, this is that by Funko. I'll be reviewing shortly. Will this fit in here? It's a bit longer. That fits in there. What about this Gerber? Uh, is this the Pride? I forgot which one this was called. Another long one. Can I put more than one? I can. So you can put two of the skinnier long knives in a pocket. So that gives you a lot you can do. And of course, again, you have these small ones. You'd have to find a use for them. Uh, I don't have any challenge coins to show you, but it's a Kershaw, uh, excuse me, Kershaw. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what this one's called. Remember, I'm drawing a blank on that one. Um, so that'll fit there. Of course, it'll fit in the regular pocket as well. So in theory, you can put at least 42 tools in here. More if you double them up. And of course, if you have smaller items, like the, like the knife I showed you before, you could definitely put a lot more in there. Um, there's a downside to this, though. Right now I have, what, a flashlight, three, four, five, so I got 
uh, four knives and a multi-tool in here. Um, if I fold this up, as long as the flashlight isn't too big or the knife isn't too big, it'll fold up. But this is already getting pretty heavy. So if you were going to carry this full, say to like a knife show or something, um, you may be lugging around 40 or 50 pounds worth of knives and tools. Um, so this would probably be best mounted to a wall hanging. I would do would do these side ones as well and the D-rings as well. They help hold the weight um, because I guarantee this is already at least 10 pounds you know, with the weight of this anyway. Maybe 8 pounds, a little bit less, but um, yeah, so it's it's an interesting bag. Obviously, I haven't used it that much. Um, I've just been trying to come up with alternative uses like I normally do. And this has a lot of options. Um, as I said, you could do it with medical. I could put fire stars. I could put fire, water, medical. Um, I can put stuff for bartering like um, gold coins, silver coins. Um, <laughs> I can put my... Um, Mechanical pencils, my drawing pencils for when I do uh, like architecture or engineering drawings. I could put all that in here. There's more than enough room for it. Um, you know, if I want to make one whole row of Gerbers, I can do that. If I want to make one full of these weird things like the by Funko or the CJRVs or the Sun Cuts or the Multi Tools, I can do that. There's a lot. And just so you could see. I have to be careful because I'm on a glass desk here. When fiddling with this to begin with, I put all of this in here and it weighed a lot. But it only took about like half the bag. I still had plenty. I do have a lot of fixed blade knives that will not fit in here because they're too big, especially with sheaths. Um, but again, you have lots and lots of options. So if you're looking for a bag for display is what I would recommend. Um, or if you're going to put light things in here, make it like a sewing kit or a small medical kit, um, this would be a good, good idea. Um, this one came on from Amazon. There will be a link in the description. There's also going to be a, a link uh, for Blade HQ because these are typically on sale at least once or twice a month on Blade HQ. Um, and they actually tend to have it in stock when Amazon doesn't. Um, but I will list both just in case. Um, I do recommend taking a look. This does come in two colors. It comes in this uh, green color and one comes in black. And although the picture on Amazon does not show the O-Knife label, obviously it comes with it. It still says O-Light here, but it doesn't show O-Knife there. Weird. Um, I don't know why they would offset it without actually putting that there, but whatever. Um, so for knife storage, this is going to be mounted on my wall, probably in front of my desk. Maybe not, because just in case I don't put it in the wall properly, I might break my glass desk, but... Uh, maybe in the closet, somewhere with the rest of my gear. Uh, it'd be a lot better than keeping all those knives in a, in separate boxes just sitting on the shelf. Um, or, you know, a lot of them are actually mixed in with some of my other tools. And I just take them out to uh, sharpen them every so often. So that is it. That is the Olight Exploit. Um, multi-function, multi-package bag thingamajiggy. Um... That's it. So thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like it. You know, please like. That helps me with the uh, algorithm for YouTube so I can continue to bring you things that you actually want to see instead of me just going through all my supplies and seeing what I haven't done yet. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, don't forget I'm on Rumble and Odyssey, so if you want to see any other things that may or may not be on my YouTube page, most of my stuff that's on the YouTube page is where they get posted first. And within about a week, they're on Rumble and Odyssey. So, please take a look. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.